So the first problem of the 50 challenging book that we are going to discuss is the soft drawer. So basically in this question, we have a drawer which has red socks and black socks. And we are picking two socks randomly. Pick kar rahe. And according to question, if both socks are red, hoye, uski probability should be 1 by 2. Ke honi so the first part says that if this condition is true, then how many minimum number of socks should be there? And for the second part, if the number of black socks is even, what should be the total number of minimum socks for the above condition to hold true? So now let's look at the solution. So in this question, let's assume that we have R red socks and B black socks. Now we will write the probability of P picking two red socks randomly. So that is RC2 upon R plus BC2. According to question, it is equal to 1 by 2. If we will simplify it, we will get R upon R plus B into R minus 1 upon R plus B minus 1 equal to 1 by 2. Now, this is one equation and we have two variables, R and B. So, we will solve this by hit and trial method. We will start by putting B equals to 1 in this equation and then we will solve for R. We will get only one integer value for R here, that is R equals to 3. Now, our aim is to minimize R plus B as per the question. So, we will get R plus B equals to 4 here. Now, we will check for B equals to 2. We will get no integer solution for R. Now, as we will increase B, we will see that for B equals to 3, and R has to be greater than or equal to 2 because we have to pick at least two red socks. So, R plus B will always be greater than or equal to 5. But we have already found out that R plus B equals to 4 for a particular B equals to 1 and R equals to 3. So, this will be our solution for the first part. Now, for the second part, we need B equals to 2, B equals to 4 or B equals to 6 uh, for checking because it, is, because it is required that we have to choose even number of black socks. So now we will check for B equals to 4. We will see that we will get no integer solution for R. We will check for B equals to 6. We will get R equals to 15 as our integer solution. So this becomes the solution for the second part. Now there is another method that is given in the book. We will discuss that also. For that, we will see that it is given that R upon R plus B into R minus 1 upon R plus B minus 1 is equal to 1 by 2. And according to number theory, R upon R plus B is greater than R minus 1 upon R plus B minus 1. So, R upon R plus B ka whole square is greater than 1 by 2 and which is greater than R minus 1 upon R plus B minus 1 ka whole square from the above two equations. If we will take the square root of this equation, we will get R upon R plus B greater than 1 by root 2, greater than R minus 1 upon R plus B minus 1. If we will solve the first inequality, we will get R greater than root 2 plus 1B. And if we will solve the second inequality, we will see that R is less than root 2 plus 1, B minus 1. So now we have got the range of R for different Bs. So, for, so now we will create a table with different Bs, range of R, eligible R, and checking the condition. We will check for B equals to 2, B equals to 4, B equals to 6, and so on. Here we will get the range as 4.8 to 5.8. Eligible R is 5, but the condition does not hold 2, so we will reject this solution. For B, for B equals to 4, the range is 9.7 to 10.7. The eligible R is 10, but the condition here also doesn't hold 2, so we will reject this solution. For B equals to 6, the eligible R is 14.5 to 15.5. 
eligible R is 15, but the condition holds true. So this is our solution for the second part here.